Hi, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina. This morning I'm going to show you how to create a sump pit out of 15 inch culvert pipe. And we use this almost on every installation because we can get a custom depth down to the bottom where we set the sump pump. And we have a solid lid cover which we'll secure onto that. I'm going to show you how this, the Zoller sump pump works. So let's take a look. A couple of ways to cut this culvert pipe. Um, you could use a hacksaw, you could use a sawzall. We're going to use a circular saw and make our cut by just spinning the culvert pipe around. So we want to go down approximately two feet, which is one, two, three, four, to about down here. This is the average depth of a sump pump, and we're just going to go ahead and cut off this bottom ring. Now we have a two foot pit sump liner that we can set down inside of the crawl space once we dig this out. Next we're going to drill a hole for the inlet of the footer tile and that's a four inch opening somewhere in here. Uh, we're going to get the drill out take care of that. As we know the depth of the footer where our footer tile is going to sit, we can go ahead and pre-drill the opening into this uh, sump liner with a hole saw. Our hole saw is four and one eighth, which will allow for our pipe to slide into the sump liner. <laughs> There's our hole, and you can see this hole saw does a great job of creating the perfect size opening for your inlet into the sump liner. Here is our perforated pipe, and you can see this one has holes in it. Always remember that holes point down in any gravel system. Um, there is no way that that water is going to drop into those holes from the top until it floods to that level. Because there's gravel underneath of the pipe, water will flood up and into those holes pretty quick versus coming you know, all the way up to the top <clears throat> before water can enter. So make sure you're using a perforated pipe with holes in it that the holes point down. This is slotted pipe and you can see the slots, the holes, they go all the way around the pipe. Okay, So this one can be laid just simply into the trench and water still floods into the bottom of the pipe and also as it comes higher it drops into the pipe. Both work really well. If you can see, there's a blue line on this pipe. That's the top. Holes. The holes. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> there's the holes, and we want those holes to point down. Okay? Next, we're going to slide this right into our sump liner and just pull it through. Again, holes point down. This is what it will look like in the ground. Of course, there will be gravel right here. And this section is going to be 
underground. <clears throat> and the sump pump will sit down inside. <clears throat> this is our sump lid. And you can see it's a solid lid. And it has a rim around it. And this is going to sit on the top of the sump liner like this. You can see it fits really nice. We'll actually secure that with a couple of screws so that it's very secure and solid. The sump pump discharge line can come out any of these holes and basically we'll just drill out the hole for the inch and a half pipe when we plumb it inside the crawl space. This is a Zoller M53 and this is called the Mighty Mate. We only use Zoller products for sump pumps. There's probably no better pump in the world. This is showing tools required to install your pump. And you can see it's really simple. <clears throat> and this is your Zoller M53. It has a float which as it comes up, as water rises in your sump liner, the float will come up and kick on the pump. I'll let you hear the click. Can you hear that? That's your switch. Nice long extension cord. Um, UL listed for being underwater. The connection is very sound. Zoller has done some really great things. If you look carefully, you'll see a little hole right here. This stops from stops the water from getting trapped between here and your check valve, which will set when we install the pump. Sometimes an airlock is created between the pump and the check valve, wherever the check valve may be. But this allows water, some water to spit out and never allow any air to be locked in place right here. It's already built into the pump. You don't need to drill into your discharge line. Everything's ready to go. When setting up your pump, the first thing that goes in is a male threaded inch and a half adapter and it just screws right in to the discharge of the pipe tighten it up super tight with your hand <laughs> and next we're going to cut a small piece of inch and a half PVC just to get it above this bar. This bar protects the float which remember as the water rises in the sump pit it kicks it on and then as it goes down it turns it off. Okay, you could use a tape measure to measure from the bottom of the inside of the fitting to above the bar but usually we just transfer measurements from our saw to you know just get the rough cut. So I'm going to transfer this measurement to, to the inch and a half PVC, which is right here. And we're going to go ahead and cut this PVC with our hacksaw. PVC is pretty easy to cut, but you just have to keep pushing through it. There's our cut. Clean off the burrs. And of course, you'll be gluing this <coughs> once you put it into your sump pit. But I'm just setting it together so you can see. Now we're above the bar. Float's still nice and control here, no, no obstructions. And now we're going to put the fitting on here, which will be our check valve. But we're actually going to put that in when we install it. One last thing, when you're lifting your pump, there is a handle here. Be sure to grab your pump by this handle. Don't grab a hold of your pipe. Don't grab this bar. Because these things, they're very secure, but it has a handle. And whatever you do, don't try to pull this up by the cord. Of course, it could come loose down here. So when you're picking up your pump and setting it into the pit, use the handle. Okay? 
on sump pump connections, because of sitting down in the sump pit or the sump liner, um, we like to use what are called no hubs. And no hubs have a hard rubber piece inside and clamps, stainless steel clamps, around the outside. This is inch and a half, and it goes slides over one piece and connects to the next piece on this side. And you just tighten up these clamps. Attach your no-hub. Attach the clamps. We like to use a 5 16 inch bit on our cordless drill. Just basically gun it till it stops running. That's tight. Real tight. It makes a real great connection. And you can see that we're ready to put another piece of PVC inside the no-hub. The reason that we use the no-hub, again, is because the pump's going to need maintenance in the future, especially for the check valve. Check valves do go bad. Zoller pumps, by the way, I've been installing Zollers for 27 years. I've never replaced one. That's a good thing to say. Good plug for Zoller. Okay, we're going to set our pump down into the pit. <clears throat> you can see the pump sits squarely on the bottom. No obstruction to the float to the wall. Very simple. Okay, let's take a look at how the inch and a half PVC is going to adapt to the four inch corrugated pipe. Okay, here's our corrugated pipe. That T simply snaps in place and locks together. <clears throat> Next, we will take a three to four inch adapter which will slide inside of the four inch T that snaps in place. One more thing that you need is a bushing. This bushing is inch and a half by three inch. Okay, That slides straight into the fitting and that will all be glued and the inch and a half pipe slides directly into there and gets glued again. So you can see we've got inch and a half PVC coming from the sump pump into a bushing into another adapter which is three to four inch which slides into your T or your Y and that's your connection. It's that simple. Okay so we're ready to install our Zoller pump inside of our sump liner which we showed you how to create. Um, tomorrow we'll install that inside the crawl space. We've shown you the connections that are made, um, how the float works on the pump. We've shown you how the perforated pipe with holes must point down. They have to point down into the gravel. Um, and finally, you know, the discharge where the sump pump is, at, is going to join from the inch and a half to the four inch corrugated. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina.